So let's meet the field starting out in lane number eight, the American Trevor Bassett. Another world championship finalist performance, sixth in the final after the bronze medal performance in Eugene last year. Here's the three-time world champ. He's very popular here in Zurich. He's also the Olympic champion and a world record holder. He will have lane choice and he chose seven. Newly minted silver medalist. Big breakthrough performance for Chiron McMaster in Budapest. He'll get the draw right behind Warholm in six. The happiest finalist in Budapest, arguably, was Alison De Santos. And that's because he wasn't even expected to take part this year after his early season injury. But he did make the final and finished fifth. Roshan Clark of Jamaica, just 19 years of age, just off the podium. Last week in Budapest, he finished in fourth and a new lifetime best. As Roger Federer takes <laughs> in some track and field here, the Stars, they know what's going on. Otto, there's uh, a lot of talk about how good those championships were, as you just saw C.J. Allen, maybe a little disappointed performance for him. Semi-finalist in Budapest, Wilfried Hapio of France. And we wind up the field with the local, Julianne Beaumont, who will get the draw in lane number one. So we look at this field and we realize that you have the top two on the podium, Warholm and McMaster on your screen right now, gold and silver. But it's not like there was anybody that close to Warholm. He came off of the turn after hurdle eight and started to put more and more space. We'll see if anybody gets closer today. The bronze medalist in Budapest, the American Rye Benjamin is not here. He was competitive with Warholm for those first three hurdles, Otto, as that race, as you just mentioned, maybe not as much a solo run by the world record holder as we've seen in prior championships. Again, he gets the draw here in lane seven as we begin the day of competition Zurich back to the Diamond League for the men's 400 meter hurdles. Set. Gold and silver medalist out on the outside with Warholm in seven, McMaster in six, and they're pretty even as they go over the second hurdle. When is the last time you saw somebody making up the stagger on Karsten Warholm? This field has five of the men who made the final in Budapest and three semifinalists. It's a high quality field, and so far, McMaster is making it a race with the world champion and world record holder. In fact, he's pulling ahead now. C.J. Allen of the United States on the inside in lane three as they come off the ninth hurdle. McMaster to the lead. Warholm trying to fight back. Dos Santos closing. But we open in wow. third with a bit of an upset as the silver medalist gets the better of the gold medalist a week later in Zurich. When is the last time you can recall seeing Karsten Warholm lose a Diamond League race when he was healthy? It's been a while. It's been a long while. Kyron McMaster, the silver medalist, gets some small revenge here in Zurich by taking down the world record holder and world champion three times over. The Santos hangs on for third, and CJ Allen up for fourth. Well, that's a way to start your first meet post Worlds. The craziness continues, Paul. Well, in this Diamond League now, it's all about the points as these athletes are trying to qualify for the final in Eugene. And McMaster, who came into this race seventh, they'll take eight to the final, but likely now secures himself a spot in that Diamond League final with a big upset and just the strength over these last couple of hurdles. He just held off Warholm, who didn't have enough to catch him. And we saw it early, didn't we? Because maybe 150 into the race, I said, wait a minute, he's making up the stagger on Warholm? We used to seeing people falling further behind as Warholm begins his backstretch assault. But not today, 47-27. 
to 47.30. So we've seen some streaks end. I think Mo's streak in the 800 outdoors ended in Budapest. And now we see another streak, the Diamond League streak of a healthy Karsten Warholm comes to an end courtesy of Kyron McMaster of the British Virgin Islands, Paul. Ran a time just a little bit faster than his silver medal winning performance in Budapest. But a big win, likely propelling him confidently into the Diamond League final in the men's 400 meter hurdles.